Ah, Houston, my shining city on a swamp. It looks like we have a visitor for today's lecture. But I guess we'll still go ahead and talk about power. And if I had to give my street or perhaps uh, swamp definition of power, it is how fast you are working. It is really just the time rate of change of work. So let's look at a few uh, definitions. The average power is W, sorry, W, not W, uh, over delta T, where this is the work done, and this is the, uh, in this interval, right? So if you do a certain amount of work in a certain amount of time, that ratio is just the power. And it's in joules per second, which is equal to a watt. And the abbreviation is big W, right? And it's a lot like uh, average velocity. Remember, average velocity was the displacement over a delta T. We can also think of an instantaneous value at a really small delta T. So if we wanted to look at uh, the instantaneous version, then that would just be P. And just like velocity, we won't put INST at the bottom. If we see no subscript, we mean instantaneous. And that would just be the time rate, the derivative, dw dt. So we can calculate it a couple of different ways. We can also say these are sort of before after problems, or maybe this would be an initial final state problem. Maybe this is from a graph or something. But if you had a kinematic situation you wanted to apply it to, there's one more useful way to look at it. So let's look at power in uh, kinematics. And by that, I just mean if P is d work d time, well, we could plug in our integral, f dot dr, right, our definition of work. So it's d dt integral of f dot dr. So if you had some varying work and some varying curve, you could figure that all out from this. But there's a simpler version I want to get to, say, for constant force and, uh, say, for straight line motion. Because that would cover a lot of simple uh, kinematic or situations. Then what you would have is that the dot product would be sort of a constant. So if the force is always the same direction and the motion is the same direction, they would go together. So we could write this P then as DDT of the force magnitude. Cosine theta is between them. And then you're just left with the integral of dr, the magnitude dr. But then that's just the distance. That's just what you would call d or r, or just how far it went. So then you could say, well, these are constant. They can come out of the ddt, right? So it would be uh, f cosine theta dr dt, but that's just the velocity. This is a very long way of saying if work is f dot d and you take the time derivative and the force is constant, it's the time derivative of the position or of the displacement, which is, as you know, the velocity. So you could say this is f cosine theta uh, v, but you realize, oh, that's the dot product. So now we can make it back, make it general again, and say basically the instantaneous work is the dot product of force and velocity. So now we've gone, gotten away from these approximations, actually. At any time, the, the, power, the instantaneous power, I meant to say, is f dot v. So with these three definitions for these different cases, before, after, instantaneous, kinematics, you can work most problems quickly. Because that's power, work them quickly. <laughs>